Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and happy Valentine's Day. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Poly Gel Press by Tess. My name is Tessa or you can call me Tess. Uh, welcome. So normally on my channel I have DIY poly gel nail tutorials like lazy girl method, double bead method, how to apply poly gel, you know, from the beginning to the end. So I am a beginner. <clears throat> so if you're also a beginner and looking to like get some tips and tricks on how to apply poly gel at home, then this is your channel. Um, but like I said, I have had a nail allergy, so I have been doing a few other things here and there, like I did color my hair. So I am going to be doing a few other things like that, possibly a makeup tutorial. I'm not sure if I want to put my naked face out there. So maybe just like, let's like do my eyeshadow or something like that. So, so if that's something that you guys are interested in, I hope you hit that subscribe button down below and hang out with me. Today we are having a nail tutorial. So um, yeah, I had a lot of fun making this video and doing these nails. Um, yeah, I just want to thank all of my subscribers. I have taken the time to hit that subscribe button down below. You guys are so amazing. I appreciate every single one of you. And if you're new here, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and hit that bell so you don't forget any, excuse me, so you don't miss any future videos. Um, yeah. Hey guys. So I know it's been about eight days or so, so I'm just gonna get right into this tutorial. Um, I am showing everything um, that came in the Burano kit. Not necessarily showing. Uh, see, I'm sick, guys. I'm just like reviewing um, the nail extension, you know, um, options and the kit that I just recently reviewed from Burano. So this is the first time I've ever used like a paper form to actually do a nail. So I'm going. I, I lightly buffed the surface went in with the three-in-one base coat, cured that. Um, I'm going in with shade number two. Sorry, I had to think there for a minute. <laughs> shade number two, um, just to do like a very thin like layer to connect, like connect the nail bed to like the tip and extend it out. Um, I really, really prefer this method. Um, I've always been so scared to try it, but I actually really, really prefer this. It is so easy to get um, such like a good um, straight line, I feel like, and your C-curve is really, really good. Right here, the C-curve is kind of like pinched um, a little too much because of the way that the nail is like the finger is shaped and the way that the form went on. I couldn't like let it hang anyway. But I mean, other than that, I, I really, really enjoyed um, practicing with a paper form. So right here is a coffin half tip that <clears throat> came in the Burano kit. I'm using the three in one base coat to flash cure the tip onto the nail. And then I go ahead and stick that in the lamp for a full cure. So while that's curing, I go ahead and remove the um, paper form and I take the three in one base coat and I'm going to um, do these little butterflies on the tip and then I'm gonna ombre shade number three like over it and then I'll cap with um, acryl gel because I really do not like the clear poly gel from Burano. It is just awful. I think you do have to warm it up. I think that that's why they have like that little paper for warm warming tips because that poly gel is just like, and I don't have time. Sometimes I'm trying so hard to manage and fit recording content in between everything that sometimes I don't have time to warm my poly gel. I'll stick it in between my leg though. Like I'm not even gonna lie, I'll stick it in between my leg and an armpit. I mean, when you're in a pinch, you know, <laughs> you know, body heat works well. So anyways, <clears throat> I'm going in with just a dollop of that shade number three and I'm going to just ombre that over and then cap. So I'm gonna let you watch me do that and I'll pop back up in just a sec.
So as I was saying earlier, what I really, really like about the paper forms is you can get really, really straight lines for your sidewalls. I forgot to say that, um, like your sidewalls. Um, sometimes it's hard to get that like perfect symmetrical, um, you know, evenness on each sidewall. So I feel like using a paper form really, really helps with that. It takes out the process of having to put on a tip and um, blend it in to, you know, the bed, the nail bed, and then shape it. And then sometimes you have to cut and then shape. And sometimes it's a pain. See, like right here. So that's what we're doing. So after we apply the tip while that's curing, doing a full cure, I am shaping this and blending the tip into the nail bed, which, you know, can take a minute. Sometimes if you're really good with your e-file, you can do that. I, I'm okay with my e-file. I feel like more for like correcting and just smoothing out and kind of like debulking. I really still prefer using a hand file to shape, even to debulk I do. Like um, these 8080 grit hand files are amazing. They're called Carlash, Amazon, link it down below. <laughs> Anyways, so I just put the base coat on to the nail tip, put that in there to cure. Um, and then I'm going in with shade, oh my gosh, I think this is the shade 7. I'm using the last two shades in the poly gel kit, so I think that's 7 and 8. They're the ones that have like the confetti glitter um, in them. And I am going to um, also encapsulate some butterflies on this. So I'm just going to let you watch me do this and I'll pop back up in just a few. Okay, so I put this in for a full cure and then I just um, top coat right after that because I was trying to be quick and not have to clean off the tacky layer. So I am going to show um, how to do lazy girl method with a full cover tip because I know most of the kits are coming with full cover tips now. So we just put base coat inside of the nail and then I'm putting um, some of the pretty like turquoise um, green butterflies. We're gonna go ahead and flash cure that for 10 seconds. And then I thought I used shade eight, but I didn't. I believe this is shade five um, to, um, to offset. I did use shade eight and I was gonna do a dual form, but that was like a mess. And I am so awful with dual forms. Like Slay by J is amazing. If you guys wanna see some really good dual form um, tutorials on like a hand hand, yeah, because I suck with those. Like, I'm just, anyway. So, as you can see, it's so simple um, to do Lazy Girl Method. It takes out, like, all, it's almost like a, like a paper form, but not. It takes out, like, so many extra steps. The filing is going to be extremely easy um, to sharpen the shape. Anyways, so, now that that's in there for a full cure, I'm just going to go in and file down. I do everything with my hand file. So I leave it all in. I'm just gonna let you watch me do this. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory. I just shape down and sharpen everything. Um, yeah, and then top coat. So I'll let you watch me do this. I'll pop back up in a few.
So now that we're on the last finger, I just want to show you how easy it is to just clean up um, a Lazy Girl Method application. I just um, clean up the sidewalls and take them in a little bit and just buff the top. And um, after we do buffing, I top coat. So yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I know that it's pretty short, but I want to start doing um, kind of shorter, like little videos like this um just for tips and tricks on how to like you know um apply extensions in different ways so um yeah thanks for watching guys Until next time, bye guys.